Okay, welcome back everyone uh, to our ongoing C++ tutorial series. Um, we're just going to jump right into a new project now and I'll show you how to get everything set up and I guess we'll crank out our first Hello World project, which is kind of the uh, the the every first project. So in this case we're going to hit this little orange button uh, in the top left of our screen that'll bring up a new project window here. We're going to select C++ application. We're not going to do binary file or existing sources or any of the other options there because those aren't going to apply to us. Um, hit next and we'll just I'm going to call it tutorial um, and I'll just do tutorial one. Um, I don't really need it to make a main file. I suppose I can but no big deal. Um, I don't need it set as the main project. I can, but again, it doesn't really matter. And then click this top left button. Uh, that's going to be your new file button. Go to C++ and just C++ source file. So we'll name this uh, tutorial one as well. And that'll do. Now it's going to give us a completely and totally blank page. Um, at this point it's basically the same as a text editor, so I'm going to walk you through the basic quintessential Hello World program. First off, we're going to start with an include of a header file called iostream. Um, iostream is going to allow us to stream input and output uh, to and from our program. So we'll get more into libraries and how they work later. For now just know that you need to include that if you want to output anything. Um, we're going to uh, do something called using namespace std that's just uh, including a standard namespace and in this case uh, it's going to change one little thing and we'll talk more about namespaces way later once again now every program consists of a header which is all this lovely stuff up here and a main section now main is it can be type void, but in this case it's int again. We get into that way, way, way later. Um, for now, just know that anything you're executing is going to be executed in main for the time being. Now, the only thing left for us to do is uh, actually do what we want the program to do, which is output hello world. So in this case, Ooh, I am having some issues typing. We simply put C out, which means that um, the compiler is outputting the following string, which is hello world. Uh, and that's pretty much it. These, these characters are known as streaming operators, which means that it's streaming this string into the C out object, which is a member of the IO string library. Again, if that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry, we'll cover that much more in the future. Um, then to end, we just type return zero. And that should just about do it. Um, Sigwin really likes it if you have a blank space after the, the closing brackets. Um, just one little consideration, just so you're more familiar with the terminology that we're going to be using. Um, these little brackets that are highlighted in yellow right here, those are, you know, you can call them brackets because that's what they are, but they're also called scope operators, and we'll get more into what scope actually is. I just want you to be, you know, familiar with the word scope and scope operator. Okay, so we run this, and it's going to be a, a very basic uh, program. It's going to say hello world and then run successful means that it closed and is done. So that's going to be our first video on uh, what we're doing and 
you know, please join me for more. We're going to get a lot more complicated than Hello World, believe me. Uh, this is really just the tip of the iceberg. I just wanted to start on this note. And uh, hopefully you guys will subscribe or check back. See you around.